Hey there. I'm going to work on a art canvas and um, would love for you to watch me do it. This is an 18 by 24. It's kind of big. And um, I have the colors in my mind that I want to use, but I really never know how I'm going to pursue something until I get into it. I know that I want it to be very vivid and um, blue tones, ocean tones, but even richer kind of peacock colors, I guess you might would say. And so the colors I have pre-mixed, I always have my white and I have black, but I don't know that I'll use black today, but I have my white and I have things mostly in squeeze bottles and some colors I mix on the spot. This is white artist loft flow acrylic with 50-50 with flow troll. Got a turquoise color that I mixed up from different brands all mixed together, mixed with flow troll and some water. This is like a peacock phthalo green color, kind of a vivid, very beautiful, dark, vivid turquoise. This is a navy. This is Brilliant Blue, which is an artist loft color. Very vibrant. I love this one. These have been sitting here a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add a little water to that. I can tell it's thickened up a bit. When you're going for your consistency of paint, you always want it to be a creamy stream off of your stick when it pours off the stick. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I may or may not use magenta. If I go with the peacock colors, I might throw a little bit of this in. This is dioxazine purple, which is a you know, nice, deep, purple color and I actually wanted to throw in this I had done a previous video this is Vallejo V-A-L-L-E-J-O this is the fluid acrylic and it's the fluorescent green but I had done when I finished a pour I had done on a piece of photo paper some of my deeper blue colors and aqua with this a little bit of this that was left over and I really love the combination so that's what gave me the idea of putting it in to this mix of colors. Uh, I have treadmill lubricant. You can get any brand. Uh, I got this on Amazon. It's also comparable to WD-40 or Liquid Wrench. Gotta open it up first. I'm gonna put in Still not open. A couple of drops in the big cup. I'm dropping the purple. Dropping the lip, the uh, neon green. And there is already silicone in the bottles, not in the white, but uh, in the other colors. There's already some silicone in there. And the bottles I keep, I'll just keep adding paint to them sometimes, so they do pretty well with that. I get lots of cells, which I do like, and some people aren't big cell lovers. So, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to do a dirty pour. I have push pins on the bottom of my canvas in the corners to keep it up off the table. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to do a dirty pour. I'm going to start with the aqua, the turquoise color.
to the phthalo green. Some of the navy blue. White. This neon green. Brilliant blue. Purple. Magenta. I'm loving it in the cup already. Back to the white. Peacock color. Turquoise. Navy. Neon. Green. Brilliant blue. Dark's the same purple. And magenta. Okay. Yeah, I keep playing with this white. Neon green. Brilliant blue. Turquoise. Peacock. Magenta. Purple.
Okay, so there's really no reason, I don't think, to torch it or heat it because there's so many cells. I have a tendency to go overboard on cells, I admit. So, Who knows? I'm making a big mess. So, okay, this area I've got to do something with. So the, the fluorescent green did not show up at all like I thought it would. It's barely visible. So that was a no good. So this quarter of it, or corner, see if I can do this without making a mess.
So this part here is blah. Okay, I have paint all over the floor. <laughs> Dripped like crazy. But I do, I love this. I'm disappointed that the, this very watery Vallejo fluorescent green made no appearance in this whole thing. You can see a little bit right there, and that's pretty much it. It's creeping through in the white a little bit. But I'm loving the other colors together. almost feel like I need something right there.
Okay, I think all my corners are covered. Okay. This one is vibrant. I love the colors. I made a big mess, but I'm happy with the outcome. This is on my stove top, but I just wanted to show you the beautiful, vibrant colors.